Hello, and thank you for joining us tonight for our free webinar, Electron Adapted Neurotherapy Treatment Protocols That Can Maximize Patient Results in Just 20 Treatments, featuring Dr. Jeremy Steiner. My name is Jeff Bloom, Education Marketing Manager here at LASA OMS. For over 40 years, LASA OMS has been striving to promote the growth of the acupuncture industry by providing quality products, great prices, and the best customer service, as well as supporting the many schools and continuing education efforts available. With our free web series, we intend to provide free educational opportunities taught by some of our industry's most renowned practitioners and educators. I would like to take a moment to acclimate you to the webinar room. We recommend the webinar in Chrome, Firefox, or Safari as you can experience slowness in other browsers. To the right of the video screen, you will see three tabs, chat, questions, and polls. To chat with any other attendees or to communicate any technical difficulties, please use the chat tab. For questions of the guest speaker, please make sure to use the questions tab and we will get to those after the end of the lecture. And please note that each webinar is recorded and immediately following the conclusion, you will all receive an email with a link to view the video on demand and a copy of the slides. You may always visit our blog and use the free webinar tag to find all of our previously recorded events. From sports acupuncture to Chinese herbs to practice management, you'll find something interesting for every practitioner on the LASA OMS blog. Now for our featured speaker, we are proud to introduce Dr. Jeremy Steiner. Dr. Steiner is a scientist, an acupuncturist, traditional medicine practitioner, teacher, clinical supervisor, and founder of Electroacupuncture Medicine. Licensed to practice acupuncture and traditional medicine in New Jersey and Florida. He has successfully and safely given more than 60,000 treatments of which a significant number were in the treatment of the most severe disorders such as paralysis and non-responsive pain disorders. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Jeremy Stern. Thank you, Jeff. Hello, everybody. And if you can hear me, please type in the chat box. Let me know that you can hear me. And let me know you can see my slides. And also, um, I didn't believe this, but there's a beep every time. You guys hear the beep from my chat box? Let me know, so because I can try and turn that off. Can you guys hear the beeping from my chat box? Let me know before we get started. I do not hear it, but if okay. you click the bell in the top right-hand corner of the page, that will mute your notifications so you won't hear them. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jay. Right. You're welcome. All right. Okay, so I have a lot to show you tonight. I'm very excited to teach. You know, if you know before, you know I love teaching. So um, my plan for tonight is about 60 minutes in this mini training. And um, brief overview, I'm going to tell you a little story. Then I'm going to teach you some very valuable protocols. Then we're going to do a question and answer. And then I'm going to go um, and show you a way if you want to learn more, you can dive deeper with me. So let's roll. I'm going to be uh, asking you guys a bunch of questions. So I want, I love feedback. It gets me all amped up. And last time I taught a webinar, it was awesome. So let's roll. How my brand new electron adapted neurotherapy treatment protocols maximize pain results in just 20 minute treatments. Oh, my keyboard's not working now. Hold on. Here we go. Now I'm curious before we start. What would it feel like if you could consistently produce 85% first visit success rates for any patient, regardless of their issue, disease, or disorder? How would it feel to achieve those results entirely through the spine without wasting time on trial and error testing various inputs? And what if you could do all of that with treatments that took only 20 minutes or less and produce better results than significantly longer treatments. Now come into the chat box. This is a real question. What would that be worth to you? I'm testing out the chat box. Are you guys with me? What would this be worth to you? If you, if you could consistently produce 85% first visit success rates for any patient, regardless of their issue, disease, or disorder. Elisa says a lot. Uh, Gail says, awesome. Virginia says, great. If the answer is priceless, then you're in the right place. If you've ever struggled to juggle patients, manage lengthy appointment times, all while simultaneously attempting to give patients the results they need, 
I totally get it. Now, if we're meeting for the first time, I spent years in the music industry. I was completely broke. I needed to find something different. And thankfully, acupuncture found me. Now, I thought I was going to smash it. But the first year, I made 36 grand, um, almost didn't have to file a tax report. Uh, the worst part was no or person in my life gave me respect. And what I noticed, it felt impossible to get ahead, tough to get new patients. And I lost my current patients. And I struggled to help their conditions. It took me way too much time to give treatments, probably about an hour or longer per person, until I was exposed to a new approach that I'd eventually adapt into my new electron adapted neurotherapy treatment protocols that you're gonna learn today. Now this webinar is not about some fluff. Give me, you know, I'm gonna actually show you protocols that I want you to use in your clinic tomorrow and give me feedback this week and let me know how it's improving your clinic and your practice. Now, since then, I got married to an acupuncturist. She's a better acupuncturist than me. We completed the Doctorate of Oriental Medicine together. I had the privilege of studying under top doctors all over the world and became a highly successful practitioner, giving more than 100,000 treatments, treating 60 to 100 patients per week with these same protocols that I'm about to show you. And my wife did the same thing in a separate practice. Now, since then, I was featured in 2019 LASA catalog. They asked me to write an article on solving difficult cases. I was on the cover of Health, Wellness, and Fitness magazine, and I created financial breakthroughs for an acupuncturist uh, using these same techniques I'm about to show you. And I highlighted 2019, because what happened in 2019? 2019, I taught an acupuncturist and hired an acupuncturist the same EAN methods I'm about to show you. And my wife and I took off to Barbados to study medicine and left the acupuncturist that we trained in charge. And this is what he brought in for 2019. Even cooler than that is I've been able to change the lives and practices of acupuncturists through teaching highly specific methods, including this webinar you're on right now, my courses and seminars have been enjoyed by 2,000 plus practitioners. Life has completely changed. Uh, these techniques, uh, you're gonna see in a few minutes how they give me my time back and maximize results. In the lower right-hand corner is me in Thailand learning to cook. So my wife and I were able to travel all over the place. We're able to study medicine in Barbados. Why am I telling you this? Not to brag or boast, but I know that if this webinar can change your practice, I, and I know it will for some of you who take action after what you learn on here, the results I'm getting are not anything special. If I can do it, you can do it too. I know what you may be thinking, great, Jeremy, but can today's training work for me? Well, Kate says, incorporating this way of using electricity will both streamline and shorten the time spent hands-on with each patient while dramatically improving results. Amy says, I was told this class is a game changer. I said I had to see it to believe it. I have seen it and I believe it. And Lindsay says, EAM gave me tools that are cutting edge and like nothing regular acupuncture in the US even touches. And Dr. Eric says, my patient had so much more relief, they prepaid for eight weeks of care. Now let me show you how it can work for you. And here's just some of what I'm about to teach you on this webinar, the groundbreaking methodology that transformed my patient's results and my practice. You're not learning this in school, I didn't. How EAN turns spinal nerves into the ultimate internal organ healers that can modulate and even reverse the toughest diseases your patients are facing. How EAN protocols combine cutting edge German medical neural therapy with electrons to create the most powerful medical treatment system available. I don't know how many of you out there know this, but one third, we're talking thousands and thousands of German medical doctors use something called neural therapy, which involves injecting procaine into certain neural areas of the body to elicit modulation of organs and treat pain. Well, we can take these protocols and actually do better by using our needles and electricity. Simple protocols that reduce or even eliminate pain and inflammation anywhere in the body without having to treat any body points outside of the spine. I'm laughing a little bit because I have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on classes that 
didn't teach me anything. And I am literally going to show you my bread and butter protocol on this exact webinar that you're on right now that you can implement. And this last line, simple protocols that reduce or even eliminate pain and inflammation anywhere in the body without having to treat any body points outside of the spine will transform you into the pain and inflammation master and so much more. And hey, listen, I'm going to teach a bunch of excerpts from my upcoming Electric Medicine 2 event. We've talked to the crew at LASA, and I know some of you will want to dive deeper on this topic. Okay, so after this entire training, after we get everyone's questions answered, for those of you that actually want details on the event, stay to the very, very, very end. And once we've gotten through all of that, I'm going to share details in case you want to dive deeper with me about EAN. So after teaching more than 2,000 acupuncturists, I started to see the common theme and the challenges that were slowing acupuncturists like you down. It has become crystal clear that these core challenges that we face are pretty much the same across the board. Here's what my students have told me. They waste time on endless trial and error, needling countless acupoints, hoping to get lucky and deliver noticeable results. I don't know how long it took for the person to needle all these points in that body, but it probably took a very long time. Appointments take one to 1.5 hours eating up your day, making busy patients less likely to return. Lack of first visit results leaves patients questioning acupuncture and unlikely to accept follow-up treatments. The treatments that I learned in school don't seem to solve my patients' problems. And I hear I'm lacking confidence and it's making things worse. Now, can you relate just a bit? Come on over to the chat box. Let me know if any of these previous things you can relate to any way at all. And I see Michaela says totally, Mike says bingo. This is, you know, I totally relate with all these. That's why I wrote these slides. Fortunately, there's a solution. That solution is my cutting edge electron adapted neurotherapy protocols. Now a quick note about electricity for those new my audience. Old school practitioners think using electricity is barbaric and possibly even dangerous. It is painful or uncomfortable, and they think that it is ineffective and has little or no place in medicine. The truth is the medical community isn't telling you that electricity is the main focus of their medical acupuncture treatments. I've successfully infiltrated that world and brought and converted these protocols for you. Electricity is mandatory for life and an integral part of human biophysiology. Electroacupuncture can be the most effective for treatment, even for weak and frail elderly patients. One of my clinics was more than 90% geriatrics, severe problems, and I used electricity on every single one of them. Here is is some research proof EAM studies and statistics. A study testing spinal electroacu for refractory headache showed that the majority, 85% of subjects, improved after only one treatment. Another study on low back pain showed that spinal electroacu greatly decreased pain, drastically improved patients' physical activity and quality of sleep, and that 20 minutes of treatment demonstrated the greatest results. Here's the last study for tonight. A study compared electroacu to famcyclovir, a pharmaceutical, in the treatment of herpes zoster shingles. Get this. Treatment for both groups was two weeks long. Now, the electroacupuncture group received only three treatments per week, a total of six treatments. The famcyclovir group received three doses a day for two weeks which is like around 42 doses of a pharmaceutical compared to six treatments of electroacu. I don't think this was a fair test. And for the complete resolution of the outbreak, it took 16 days for electroacu versus 18 days for famcyclovir. And the EA group had 34% less pain at the three and six month follow-up. That's comparing six electroacu treatments to 42 doses of famcyclovir. So I think we can agree electroacupuncture is the fastest and most effective acupuncture approach to get the best possible results for your patient. 
Unfortunately, most actors are doing it all wrong. They assume it's just regular acupuncture with additional stim. They have the misconception that the nervous system is the same thing as the acupuncture channel system, or they get bad results because they think stronger is better, or they don't understand how electricity fits in with biology and physiology. Fortunately, my new EAN protocol simplify electroacu for any practitioner and achieve the benefits of EAM with just 20-minute treatments that never leave the spine. Now, Dr. Week says it makes my practice better and better. He is busier than ever, and he loves it. Mayo Hospital is very impressed, says Kim. It's absolutely working. So after hundreds of thousands of dollars literally invested and over five years developing my EAN protocols, for the second time ever, I'm going to break them down for you in simple steps. I taught this webinar about three weeks ago, so I didn't change this slide. But for the second time ever, I'm going to break them down for you right now. And this is the slide where you go and get your notepad, shut down distractions, get out the notepad, pay attention, suspend your disbelief. Why do I say that? Because we all show up to webinars and classes with these little gremlins inside that says, oh, they're not really going to teach me what they, to what they told me, what they promised. I got those gremlins. I've experienced classes like that. What I am about to show you is my bread and butter, and I'm going to show you everything you need to do to start implementing it tomorrow in your clinic. So let me just take a glass of water, come into the chat box. Let me know if you guys are ready to roll. And if you're all still awake and with me, I will show you some pretty powerful stuff. All right. Masato says, yes. Joyce says, let's get it. Susan says, ready. Christine says, ready. Kayla says, ready to go. Let's rock. All right. Let's see. Okay. Electron adapted neurotherapy 101. Now, why does EAN work so well? Well, all the organs are connected to the spine and the nerves on or near the spine are easily accessible by needles and electricity. I, you know, when I was going over my PowerPoint or, or earlier, I read this line like three times and it's like so incredible when you actually understand that all organs are connected to the spine and the nerves on or near the spine are easily accessible by needles and electricity, where traditional body acupuncture only affects smaller peripheral nerves, EAN can modulate bundles of peripheral and the central nervous system all at once. Any pain anywhere in the entire body must first pass through the spine on its way to the brain. It's almost like EAN is the perfect therapy. Optimal protocols have been proven through solid clinical research. I hope I showed you three of them. Now, it's very important that, to know that to get the 85% success rate in 20 minutes, which is what I promised you, EAN only works fully if it's done within the context of the P3 method. Why do I say that? It's because in order, you know, EAN is protocols. And in order to get that 85% success rate, you need to choose the right protocol. But in order to choose the right protocol, you need to have already done the proper pattern diagnosis, which is necessary, you know, based upon your understanding of the paradigm. So that's why I need to take a few minutes and teach you about the P3 method, which is paradigm pattern and protocol. And this particular webinar is heavily um, based on protocol. So let's go over paradigm. So the most common paradigm taught in many schools, including mine, was that chi is a mystical life force energy, that acupuncture channels are where this chi flows, and that disease is a blockage or imbalance in these channels, and that acupuncture balances the chi. Now, maybe this is true. This is what all the board exams are tested on. This is what everybody learns in school. And maybe it's true. It probably is true. However, this paradigm did not serve me to understand my patient's disease. It didn't help me when I was trying to communicate with my patients. And I told them that chi is a mystical life force and that disease is from a blockage in this chi. 
It just went over their head. They didn't return. They didn't believe in acupuncture. It doesn't help. This, this paradigm didn't help me when I was talking to other medical professionals either. So what if I told you there's a different paradigm that eliminates treatment boundaries? Here's the paradigm I'm talking about. And we learned in biology class, cells are always wearing out and need to be replaced. Disease occurs when we lose the ability to make new cells. Now here's, I took this from a standard biology book, cellular regeneration time. So every four months, we have a brand new set of cells. Every five days, the inner lining of our stomach has completely regenerated. So what is needed for cells to regenerate and function properly? Number one is enough electrons, which now I'm asking you in your mind to think of as chi. The chi it's a type of chi that flows in acupuncture channels. Number two is raw nutrients, such as the Gucci. You need the amino acids so that the cells can build something. So what supplies the cells and tissues with the electrons? You guessed it, that's the acupuncture channels and the conductive outer covering of nerves. So what are the acupuncture channels? Well, let's talk about what the channels are made of. They're made of muscles and muscle tissue is very interesting. It's piezoelectric, which means when you stress it or stretch it or pull it, it releases chi or electrons. Now it's a special type of muscle tissue that acts as a rechargeable battery. It can store this chi, and this chi is shuttled on the wiring system which surrounds all these groups of muscles in discrete circuits and runs it on the fascia, which is the most electrically conductive tissue of the entire body. So once you break free from the limitations of the traditional paradigm, you can use electron to neurotherapy to treat any disease in the human body. We're getting to the protocols, but first let's do the pattern. So many acupuncturists jump into treatment, blindly needling countless acupoints, hoping to get lucky. Fortunately, you can easily nail the diagnosis when you adopt these P3 method patterns. Here are the patterns. So number one, primarily, we need to use the acupuncture channel system. This is the same channel system that you learned in school, but now I'm asking you to dive deeper and focus on the acupuncture channel system. And when you do that and you understand it using the paradigm I just taught you, it turns the acupuncture channel system into the most powerful diagnostic and treatment system available to acupuncturists. Now, here are seven major root causes that cause deficiencies in certain channels. One is thyroid, two is adrenal, three is stomach, four is scars, five is emotions, six is toxins, seven is dental. I don't have time to go over all of this, um, but tonight I will certainly give you several protocols for some of these on the following up slides. So the acupuncture channel system, at the end of the intake or consult, you should be able to filter your primary pattern diagnosis down to one or two channels. I'm not talking about with some patients. I'm talking about with every single patient, no matter what the disease is, you should be able to filter your primary pattern diagnosis down to one or two channels. Once you nail the diagnosis with the P3 method patterns, then you can use EAN protocols to get first visit results in just 20 minute treatments. So now, this is the, what you all showed up for. It's time to learn my electron-adapted neurotherapy protocols. So we are stepping into the protocol section. So most electroacupuncture protocols require choosing needle placements on the body, choosing from a range of frequencies, choosing from a full available power spectrum, and choosing treatment times. Now, a lot of what I teach requires this right here. But here's what's so cool about my EAN protocols. And I believe it's the simplest way to get the maximal benefit out of electroacupuncture medicine. Because uh, instead of choosing from 400 points on the body, EAN is spinal only. Instead of picking from a range of frequencies, in EAN, we have just three main frequencies to choose from. 
And instead of choosing from the full available power spectrum, I teach what's called the EAN sweet spot, which is the perfect power spectrum to get the maximal results in just 20 minutes without having to guess you know, what level of power you're going to need for that treatment. And instead of choosing all these different treatment times, should I have them in here for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, even an hour and a half? I mean, there was this guy on Facebook who said that he likes to give an hour and a half to two hour treatments because he likes to give the full experience. And that's fine, but my experience is that my patients are suffering and they want results right away and they're busy, they don't have time for over an hour treatment. They want to get their results right away. Now, I also have an experience, before I was an acupuncturist, I was an acupuncture patient. And I was an acupuncturist and I laid down and he did the first four needles and my back pain started to feel amazingly going away. And I also started praying that he wasn't gonna do any more needles. And he did 16 or 20 more needles after that, which was painful in my hands and feet. And then he left the room, fine. After 20 minutes, I felt great. After 30 minutes, I still felt great. And after 30, you know, after 40 minutes, I start sending him mental messages, come get me, come pull out the needles. And after 50 minutes, I'm getting all antsy, thinking about what I have to do for the day. And after one hour, I'm wondering if I should pull out my own needles and just leave. And also, my, I had a new back pain from being stuck in that position for the whole time. So this is why if you're looking to take your practice to the next level, electroacumedicine, then these EAN protocols are the fastest, easiest way for you to do that and get the maximal patient results. So now can you see why my new EAN protocols are the simplest way for you and your patients to experience all the benefits EAM has to offer. So what is EAN? Let's get down to it. It's the stimulation of nerves with needles and electricity to elicit the release of neurotransmitters to eliminate pain and or inflammation. And what I've done here is simplified it down to low frequency for you, which will get you uh, Beta endorphins, your body's going to flood itself with beta endorphins using the low frequency between one to four hertz at the 20 minute mark. And it's also going to flood your body with ACTH, which is a precursor to cortisol, which is a major anti inflammatory. What is EAN? It's the stimulation of nerves with needles and electricity to influence organ systems by modulating the autonomic nervous system. These two things on this slide is under your scope of practice. And it is my goal after this webinar that you can start these things tomorrow in your clinic. Use what I'm going to show you to do these things and help your patients. So every organ is connected to the autonomic nervous system. How fantastic is that? We can treat pain and inflammation anywhere in the entire body via the use of protocols on the spine and I'm gonna actually do these protocols coming up soon. So these protocols for the internal medicine section are based off of the seven major root causes, which comes from a previous class, but these are the seven root causes. And, that, and we're gonna go over thyroid. So here's a protocol for thyroid. We choose C6, C7, T1 Watojaji points because the sympathetic nerves coming from this, these levels feed the thyroid. And this protocol, we're gonna use 80 hertz for hypothyroid. Now, 80 hertz is our GABA frequency. And what we're trying to do for hypothyroid is turn off the sympathetic nerve input or reduce the sympathetic input going to the thyroid for patients with hypothyroid. We would use 300 hertz for hyperthyroid, 300 hertz is our acetylcholine frequency. The sympathetic nerves going from this spine at this level and feeding the thyroid use acetylcholine to stimulate. They secrete acetylcholine. So if you want to increase sympathetic activity, 
go into the thyroid, you need at least Watojaji points and use 300 hertz and you would want to manually pulse it with your hand to treat hyperthyroid. M more often than not, if you're treating hypothyroid, then you just use 80 hertz consistent to try and reduce sympathetic nerve input. Now, this one protocol goes for, the, the we use these same frequencies, how easy is that for treating into medicine? You choose any organ, choose the stomach, for example. If you want to increase sympathetic activity, go into the stomach, then you would pulse 300 hertz. If you want to decrease sympathetic activity, go into the stomach, then you would use 80 hertz uh, consistent or constant. Let's do a case study for thyroid so you guys are more clear about this and can implement this protocol. So a 41-year-old male comes in, height 5'10", weight 252 pounds. Uh, don't read everything. I've highlighted the important part. He has weight gain, poor digestion, neck and back pain, exercise intolerance, and fatigue. And I gave you a hint. I named it thyroid case study. Um, look at previous surgical history. I highlighted has two root canal teeth in number two and number 29, which is common. I didn't make this up. And those two teeth, when you look up on the EAM tooth chart, are, we know that the stomach and spleen channels flow through there. And what a coincidence, what feeds the thyroid with chi? It's also the stomach and spleen channel. So let's go through the three Ps for this patient. The paradigm for this patient is that a root canal in the stomach spleen teeth drained electrons from the stomach channel, which failed to provide enough energy for proper thyroid functioning and cellular regeneration. Now, if the thyroid doesn't have enough chi, everything else on the stomach lean channel may or may not have enough chi, such as the stomach. And the pattern for this patient is that a stomach spleen channel deficiency led to hypothyroid or vice versa because the thyroid is a major gland. 40% of the hormone is designed to regulate your body temperature and your body temperature regulates and determines how fast or slow enzymes react and don't react. And 60% of the thyroid hormone is responsible for total body uh, electron charge or chi. So it's the same protocol that I listed above when I taught you the protocol. I, I use T6 through T1 Watojajis. 80 hertz for 20 minutes. And here's what happened. This patient felt lighter and more energy soon after removing the needles and the neck and back pain disappeared before leaving the office. You refer him to the dentist to get a cone beam scan performed on his root canal tooth. If you've taken my dental classes before or some of my webinars before, you know that 30 days after a root canal is done, it is infected. Root canals are always a problem and they drain Chi from acupuncture channels. You refer him to the dentist. The dentist does a cone beam scan, finds this infected root canal, fixes it, refers three of his patients back to you, and he himself came in for treatment. Your treatment plan consists of three times per week treatment for one month and then to be reevaluated. Now, Miss Samantha says after a few months of treatment, we were able to return her T3 and T4 back to a normal range. Mr. Turk says, my thyroid issue is so under control that my regular MD is astonished. Astonished! I'm not hiding anything. I showed you the protocols that I used on these two patients to get these results. Adrenal EAN protocol. Let's do a protocol for adrenals. So I don't know if you know this, but the adrenal glands are this amazing gland which you break into four different parts the cortex is broken into three different parts. The glomerulus, the starts with an F and starts with an R, but you don't need to know those names. But the first part produces um, glucocorticoids, or actually, I'm sorry, the first part produces aldosterone, which we need for blood pressure. And the second part, going from outside to inside, produces um, glucocorticoids for anti inflammatory. And the inner part of the cortex produces sex hormones. And when you go even deeper into the medulla of the adrenal, it, that's where you get the norepinephrine and the epinephrine. Now, the adrenal glands are different than every other organ connected to the spine. It's almost like 
we have the exact best protocol to influence and modulate the adrenal glands. And that protocol is using the sympathetic nerves that go to the adrenal glands, which are found at T12 through L1, Huato Jaji point. So you make a little bracket. We use 80 hertz for adrenal excess and deficiency. Why? Because it turns off sympathetic input going to the adrenal glands and gives them a rest so they can recover. Now, going back to something I was just talking about, most organs, um, the preanglion for the sympathetic nerve comes down the spine, it synapses near the spine, near our Huatojaji points, and then goes to a postganglion to feed the organ. The adrenal gland doesn't even have a postganglionic nerve. It immediately links to the preganglionic nerve right at our Huatojaji points. And I probably shouldn't even be showing you this one. If you use 300 hertz pulsed, you'll get an adrenaline rush. Warning, write this down if you're taking notes. Don't use this on any weak or frail patient. This treatment is for an athlete, like somebody who's a UFC fighter that is going into the ring. Then treat this patient 12 minutes, pulse 300 hertz, and send them immediately into the ring so that they get and use their adrenaline rush. But more often than not, use the 80 hertz for adrenal deficiency or excess. Let's do a case study so I know you guys are with me and know how to use this. 58-year-old male, height 5'11", weight 177 pounds. He has extreme fatigue, low back pain, joint pain, irritability, insomnia, headaches, and heartburn. Now I gave you a hint. I did an adrenal case study. So the previous surgical history says has had all four wisdom teeth extracted. How common is that to have your wisdom extracted? What channels flow through the wisdom teeth? It's all the fire channels as well as the autonomic nervous system. So, you know, my dad's a dentist. Three quarters or 75% of all wisdom tooth extractions fail and turn to a silent infection called the cavitation. When this happens, it happens in the 20s or 30s. The patient gets wisdom teeth extracted, turns into the cavitation, no symptoms in the mouth, all symptoms happen elsewhere in the body, from the blood having this pathogen dumped directly into the blood, or from the autonomic nervous system, or from a channel or any of the fire channels constantly being drained. Look at the blood pressure, 100 over 60. I teach in my upcoming classes and my previous classes how to use blood pressure to tell if the patient has enough um, epinephrine or adrenaline or cortisol. Now, three Ps for this patient. The paradigm, cavitation in the wisdom teeth drained electrons from the fire channels, which created an imbalance in the autonomic nervous system. The pattern was a triple energizer pericardium channel deficiency caused by a cavitation in the wisdom tooth. Here's the protocol, no surprise, it's the same one I just went over. I'm trying to show you these things. I'm trying to keep it simple, show you some powerful protocols. If I show them to you more than once, maybe I am giving you permission to use these in your clinic tomorrow, please go out there. I love to hear back from acupuncturists how this has changed their practice. So this patient has an 85% reduction in back and joint pain. He reports feeling energy he hasn't felt in years and feels joyful and optimistic. He's excited for his next treatment all before leaving your office. Of course he has, you know, feels energy he hasn't felt in years. His adrenals were shut down since his wisdom teeth were extracted in his 20s or his 30s. You refer him to the dentist, of course, to get a cone beam scan performed on his wisdom tooth area to rule in cavitation. When you do this, you send the de you send the patient to the dentist your letter with your personal letterhead telling them that you think there's a wisdom tooth issue in tooth number one or whatever tooth you say. And the dentist will perform the cone beam scan, find the problem that you referred him there, is so happy you're gonna receive a bunch of referrals if you get the right dentist. You know it's the right dentist because the first time you refer them a patient like this, 
you can expect to get two or three new patients from that dentist in the same week. If you don't, then try a different dentist. Your treatment plan consists of times for week treatments for one month and then to be reevaluated. Now, Mr. Held says, I leave his office feeling so great. And Jessica says, I went for infertility and was in less than two months. Do you think Jessica knows other people that want to try your EAN treatments for infertility? Now, here is where I want you to pay special attention, spinal bracket for pain. So here, I want to teach you right now. I, I mean, I could come on here and give you fish and throw you, you know, certain protocols which I did already, and that teaches you how to treat certain things. And even now, um, I believe that I've given you more value than many webinars that I've been on. And Cassie asks a question. If you guys have questions, I'm gonna get to a Q&A soon. Type them in the question section and I'll get there. Um, what I, I don't wanna give you a fish. I mean, I do, I gave you a bunch of fish, but right now, I want to teach you how to fish, how to come up with a spinal bracketing protocol that will get you the maximal results in 20 minute treatments for how to treat anything. So here's what it is. You choose the dermatome based upon the location of the patient's pain. Now, what do I mean by this? The patient comes in, you could even show them a diagram without these dermatomes or maybe put these dermatomes here, but hide the numbers so that it doesn't affect the patient. Ask them on a scale of one to 10 how badly it hurts and ask them to mark where it hurts. Then you're gonna use one to four hertz for beta endorphin, which is a major anti-inflammatory. It's in the morphine group and we have a morphine factory too soon behind yin tong in the forehead. Here's how to activate it. And in equal amounts, equal molecules of beta endorphin will be released globally with equal amounts of ACTH. If you know anything about ACTH, Kablamo, here's a major anti-inflammatory. It's a precursor to cortisol. So it travels down the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands start releasing cortisol the cortisol travels to the inflammation and puts out that inflammation. And this is long lasting. You make a bracket two levels above and two levels below the pain dermatome. Now let's do a live example. I'm gonna pull up a notepad. We're gonna do a live example. Come to the chat box. Let me know any pain anywhere in the body that you want me to show you how to come up with a protocol, an EAN protocol off the top of your head so that you can implement this and come up with your own protocols for any pain and inflammation in, the rest of their, in, in anywhere in your body from this one webinar. So let me um, go ahead and post it in the chat box and I will pull up my, let's see here. I gotta, oopsie, I gotta pull up my, Word document here. Okay, cool. I believe you guys can see this. Let's start fresh here. Okay, now I'm looking in the chat box and Mike says right shoulder pain. So, and we can get detailed in this. Um, so if you come and look at the dermatomes for the right shoulder pain, I mean, is it back of the shoulder pain near small intestine? And is it top of the shoulder pain? Is it front shoulder pain? Um, and I should have told you guys to get more specific, but I will choose, it's gonna be clear in a second, no matter what I choose. I will choose the most common type of shoulder pain, which is on this C5 dermatome. You all probably know it as large intestine shoulder pain. And you come here, so you choose the center based upon this dermatome chart. The patient came in and said right shoulder pain at C5. Two vertebrae below that is C3. Two vertebrae above that is C7. Let's see here. C, oopsie, C7. We're going to use one hertz for beta endorphin and cortisol, and we're going to treat for 20 minutes, and we're going to use the power sweet spot. Now, how easy was that? 
Let's do another one. Let's do a few more. Now I'm talking about Huato Jajis. When I say C3, C5, seven Huato Jajis. Now let's do another one. All right, I'm coming here and Con May says tennis elbow. Okay, tennis elbow. So you guys start making up the protocols, try and guess with what I'm going to select here um, because this shows you and teaches you how to fish for your own optimal protocols. Tennis elbow. We come here. I know tennis elbows on the lateral aspect. We're looking at probably C6 here, C6. So I type C6 and two vertebrae above that is C4. Two vertebrae below that is about T1 or T2. Let's go for T1. I'm going to use one hertz for beta orphan and cortisol, and I'm going to treat for 20 minutes. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? It works for any pain and inflammation anywhere in the body. And let's do another one. I don't want to, you know, insult your guys' intelligence, but I want to make it so the majority of you on here right now see the um you know, power in this, this one protocol, if you get it right now, use this in clinic, double, triple your, you know, reduce your treatment times, maximize your patient results. I just showed you the research in 20 minutes is the sweet spot. Let's do another one to make sure you guys are with me. Okay, looking around here, we did two in the upper body. I'm looking for one in the lower body. Um, SI join is a little bit too easy. Let's see. Pain in right hip and back. Okay. Come over to the dermatome chart. Find the where the exact pain is. The, and this person is saying hip pain. So let's say it, the hip pain is at L3. You come here. You, do, you type down L3 or in your head L3. You're in your clinic. You want to come up with the ultimate protocol. Two vertebrae above that's L1. Two vertebrae below that's L4. What frequency are you going to use? Keep it simple. One hertz for beta endorphin and cortisol. And 20 minute treatment times. Now, what do you guys think? Should I do another one? Or you guys already can see how simple this is and you feel good that tomorrow in clinic, you can do this um, for yourself. Now, I'm talking about lumbar here. When I say L1, L3, L4, I'm talking about lumbar 1, Huato Jaji, lumbar 3, Huato Jaji, lumbar 4, Huato Jaji. EAN protocols are all Huato Jajis and spinal points. I'm thinking that it's about, we have a little bit of, I'm doing pretty good on time. Let me do one more. Uh, Linda says medial heel pain. Let's do medial heel pain. And you'll get the best results when you know exactly which dermatome. Um, I'm going to guess L4 for this medial heel pain. And you guessed it. I'm going to do L4, two, Huato, two vertebrae above that, L2, two vertebrae below that, S1, Huato Jajis, one hertz. How long you think I'm going to treat for? 20 minutes. Why would I treat any more than 20 when 20 is the maximal benefit treatment time? And anything over 30, you start losing results. All righty, let's see. Back to the presentation. Fiona says, one treatment after injury had me back in training. Karen says, helped her avoid surgery twice now. So I'm just curious. Let me open up the chat box here. Oh. Have you gotten value so far? This is a real question. I love to teach. Maybe this webinar took me 60 to 80 hours to make. I wanted to give you something highly valuable. Come in the chat box. Let me know. Have you gotten value so far? Linda says yes. Martha says yes. Zoe says yes, sure. Susan says yes. 
All right, now, do you now see how my EAN protocols maximize your patient results for any condition in 20 minute treatments? How would it feel to know you were going to produce game-changing results for 85% of your patients on their very first visit? What would it feel like to save tons of time and eliminate trial and error by focusing primarily on the spine? What if you delivered those amazing results with treatment times that maxed out at just 20 minutes. Imagine the amount of patients you could treat and their likelihood to return more often. No more needing three to five appointments to produce results. No more wasting time and energy running around treating endless acupoints. No more 60 to 90 minute appointments holding up your valuable clinic space. No more half filled appointment calendars or back breaking work weeks treating just enough patients to get by just a steady and predictable treatment outcome that produce happy patients who return and even refer every single day. What would life look like a year from now? Think about it, really think about it. What would life look like a year from now if you were able to do the things I just mentioned? Well, I'm a firm believer that EAN protocols can make that a reality. Obviously, I can only show you so much in this webinar I'm trying to keep your all attention for, for an hour. Some of you are gonna wanna go deeper. So if you see the potential of EAN and would like to dive deeper, I'm gonna share details about how to attend our upcoming Electric Medicine Live 2 event. It's a live streaming event in just a few minutes. You probably wanna stick around. I created special bonus deal and for this webinar. And first, let's open the floor for questions. I see the chat box going crazy with questions. Jeff, can you help me with questions? I absolutely can. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. All right, so I did wanna go back. Um, there were some questions in regards to one of the adrenal um, case studies. Okay. And one of them was in the treatment plan. It had said T12 to T1, Huatoja G. Um, but then the person wanted to clarify, was it supposed to be T12 to L1, not T1? Yes, um, yep. That was probably a mistake. It is T12 to L1 for right. the adrenals. Well, thank you, Jesse, uh, for catching that. And then next one is, uh, what does low power mean? Mm -hmm. Low power means just enough electricity for them to begin to feel it, to make sure that the electricity is getting into the body. And we... Um, go over this in detail in, um, you know, in future, in classes. Yeah, okay. coming event. So there are also a lot of questions about if you're treating unilaterally or bilaterally and, oh. cro and crossing wires. Okay, so, um, you know, that's a long answer, but I'll give you a brief answer um, for the protocols I just showed you, treat bilaterally because the spinal nerves cross and the other part of that question was crossing the spine. And what I can tell you is crossing the spine, everything you learned in school about crossing the spine is pretty much wrong. Um, and that's because when they teaching you that, they were talking about monophasic machines. Our machines are all biphasic, safe to use with acupuncture, safe to cross the spine. It doesn't make any difference at all. And yeah. All right. So I'm actually, just so everybody knows, I'm leaving the chat box right now and I'm going into the questions. If you have a question for Dr. Steiner, please use the questions tab. I can't look at both at the same time. All right, so now going to the first question here is, is, the, is this different from the Jaji protocols taught by Dr. Tom Tam? Yes, well, yes, they are different. And that's the short answer. All right. Um, after the list of recommended hertz, I am most interested in knowing which waveforms, current levels, volts, and amps found, are found most uh, useful. So that is also a extensive question, which I answer completely in one of my devices, tips and tricks videos. Um, but I will tell you that higher voltage is generally easier to treat. The higher the voltage, the less needles you need. Um, and all the protocols that I taught on this webinar and that I teach in my upcoming live event are intended for you with the most common machines such as ETOS. 
All right, and I just put your email address in the chat box. So for anyone who doesn't get an answer to their question tonight, feel free to email Dr. Jeremy and he'll get back to you if he, as soon as he can. Um, so let's see, uh, next question, how deep do you needle those points and what type of current? Yes, so that's, I needle more, the closer to the spine you get, the safer it is. So in my classes, um, I needle very close to the spine and the depth I need to show you guys in, you know, in person, I need to show you guys the depth. It's not hard, but you do need to see it once or twice or three times to really know and feel good about needling thoracic huatos. Now, you know, lumbar huatos are a lot easier. You can go deep, you can, there's a lot of room for error and it's safe. Um, so I hope I answered that question as much as I can without showing you. Uh, you know, I need to show you. I need to actually show you on a person um, how deep to go. And in upcoming class in October, I, we go into detail about where the nerves are, and I demo it several times so that you leave that class mastering depth, and even on the toughest, you know, over near the lungs in the thoracic area. All right. Um, are you treating each Watto with electric concurrently or are you atta attaching to needles or using electrode pads? Mm -hmm. So I'm using needles with electrodes on everything. Okay. Um, next question. This one might be hard to answer, but I'm going to ask it. Uh, my daughter has infertility and has been treated for pituitary microadenema. Uh, which is now not overproducing hormone. Doctor says she should be able to get pregnant. What can I do to help her? Mm -hmm. um, contact me, message me direct. I'd be happy to help you with that. Um, as you know, it's not a simple answer, but I am willing to help you with that through these protocols. You just have to contact me direct. There's so many variables we need to know, such as medications and what's been done so far. And so feel, but feel free to contact me. I'll help you with that. All right, Carla, check the box for Dr. Jeremy's email. Um, and then James would like to know, are the protocol, oh, uh, we already answered that bilateral. Uh, what about menstrual pain and endometriosis? Mm -hmm. The protocols I just showed you will literally work on almost any disease uh, that you can think of. And so the, the one that you brought up, I've treated many times with the same 85% success rate, and it's not complicated, and you can do it too. Just simply go back to, you know, get your paradigm in your head right, diagnose the pattern correctly, and then choose a protocol that will fix the problem you just said. Uh, I think that answers the question. If I didn't answer that question, you please contact me directly if you need a specific protocol, if that's what you were asking. All right. And then, let's see, uh, somebody had wanted you to clarify daisy chain. Um, I don't remember saying daisy chain. I probably said okay. something different. Okay. Um, I don't know what that is, daisy chain. All right. Well, Lisa, can you clarify, please? Um, and then let's move on to the next one. Uh, can you please give an example for treating pain that is visceral pain, referral pattern, for example, endometriosis or dysmenorrhea patients? Mm -hmm. I would still, one part is that I would still use these EAN protocols that I taught you um, on this webinar. So try to choose a dermatome. One thing we know about dermatomes is that they certainly innervate the underlying joints and deeper areas of the body. So if you can nail the dermatome that the patient's pain is on, even in an internal organ problem, and use this same bracketing that I just showed you on this webinar, you should be able to get great results. All right. Uh, I'm going to combine the next two questions here. Um, in EAN, EAN, do you use continuous, discontinuous, or mixed? And also, is this milliamp or micro? Mm -hmm. So th I get these questions all the time, and I will answer those right now. But I want to let you know that we dive in deep on my upcoming Electric Medicine 2 class and also in other classes that are coming as bonuses I'm about to show you. But basically, um, the protos, what I urge you to do is take what you learned on this webinar 
use continuous, get the a greater than 85% success rate that I'm talking about before even thinking about using a different mode. Um, was there another part of that question? Uh, it was micro or milli amp for your preference. So all the, you do it with either one, but all the protocols that I went over tonight are for milli amperage or ETOs or other machines similar to that. And then what do you mean by sweet spot? Mm -hmm. So there's an amplitude sweet spot. It's not hard. Um, when you're treating pain and inflammation, it involves ask the patient, how do they feel it? Do they feel it moderate, medium, or heavy? And also, do they feel the stim moderate, medium, and heavy? And also correlate that with how much pain do they have? Is it a 5 out of 10? Is it 10 out of 10? And you choose from a simple chart which is freely available on our Facebook group, and, or you can email me, or try to find it first before emailing me. But you stay in the power sweet spot. It's very simple. Um, yeah, you should be able to do that. All right. Um, let's see. Are the needles placed in alternating positive and negative clips on the six points? The short answer is yes. And the long answer is I like to dive into detail so that makes you an expert on when you want to use red and black clips and cross the spine and it's a lot easier than you think it is. All right. And is the power sweet spot the intensity level? Yes, the intensity that the patient feels it. Yes. And um, I want to mention if you guys have questions in the chat box, please transfer them over to the questions box. Yes, because I am not looking. Actually, I can see right here. Um, actually, this is a good question. Um, do do you, um, would you do EAN protocols on a patient with a pacemaker? Uh, the answer is yes, and it's completely safe. However, you know that we have to be careful. So why not treat distally and get just a great as result as? You know, we don't want to take a chance with being blamed for anything. All right. And then I do see a fair amount of questions of people asking what needles do you prefer and which devices you prefer. Mm -hmm. I like sarin plastic needles unless I'm crossing needles and connecting them to one clip. Then, they, then I like the sarin metal handles. And um, as long as you can get them for the lumbar and probably about 40 to 50, 40 millimeters or 30 millimeters for the cervical huatos or thoracic huatos. All right. And then for device, I know you've mentioned the ETO device. Yeah. Um, the ETO ES-130, correct? Yes. That's a great device. It's a workhorse. And, you know, you contact me directly if you want more advice or you can watch one of my devices, tips and tricks videos where I go into detail about five different devices and I give you my personal choice out of that. Um, but the ETO is a solid choice. All right. Um, we have a few more questions here, and then we will um, end the question and answer portion. Um, is it a different hertz for post-stroke patients with weak muscles or stiffness? Mm -hmm. That is a loaded question. Mm -hmm. I want to say depends on the patient. However, saying that, I will say more, almost 100% of my patients gets these frequencies that I showed you on tonight's webinar, and then I possibly add on different frequencies in the same treatment above and beyond that. Um, and besides, we have to spend time, if you really want to know about frequency, we have to spend a lot of time going over in detail, which is why I teach classes. All righty. So let's do two more questions. One is a clarification. Did you say 30 millimeter for cervical and 40 millimeter for thoracic? Um, it depends on the thickness of the patient. Yep. All right. And then next question and last question. Are multiple levels dermatome used when multiple pain levels are reported? Uh, the Straight answer is yes. However, the caveat is you want to minimize down to one bracket, two brackets maximum in the same treatment, because you'll find that if you focus on the greatest pain, then the others typically go away by the next treatment. 
All right. So I am putting your email address in the chat just one more time in case anyone missed it. Okay. All righty. And then so that is going to be it for the Q&A portion. So I'm going to pass it over back to you so you can talk about your upcoming class. Okay, great. Now, if you guys have questions, feel free to email me. I love to answer questions. I love to teach and I love to help acupuncturists. And I'm hoping you, you implement what I taught you tonight. So training portion of this webinar is over. But if you'd like details on our upcoming live stream event, feel free to hang around. So I wanna take a moment and introduce a special upcoming event designed to help you master and implement my new EAN protocols in your practice. Introducing Electric Medicine to live stream October 17th and 18th. This is the second time we've done a live stream and the last time blew me away. This is you not having to travel anywhere during COVID. You can sit on your couch, eat your Ben and Jerry's ice cream and master EAN in one weekend with me and totally transform your practice and your patient's practice from the comfort of your own home. Now here's everything you get when you choose to attend, but pay close attention. I've got something incredibly spe special for fast action takers and people on this webinar. Now, here's what you get if you choose to attend with me. Session one, we go over the P3 overview, intro to EAN. I basically do a crash course in the first hour or two of the P3 protocol so that you can easily nail the paradigm and the pattern because EAN focuses on the protocol. I'm gonna teach you power of spinal treatments. You are gonna learn to be the master at the end of this weekend if I do my job right, which I've been getting better and better and transform students in one weekend. Now we go over research. I showed you just three brief research, but how to use research data in your communications with patients and in your advertising to create momentum in your business. Session two, spinal electropathophysiology and we go over neurotherapy and why neurotherapy is such a hit in Germany and how it applies to you and how we can do better. We can take what we know from neurotherapy, apply electrons to it, do away with the pain injections and get better results because we're using the paradigm I just showed you. Um, why EAN sets you apart from other acupuncturists and you know the physiology, we go over um, receptors, how to stimulate receptors, where the nerves go to each organ, et cetera, so that you know how to make your own treatment plan, like I showed you tonight, how to make your own treatment plan for pain and inflammation. A $997 value. Now, I don't know about you, but I spent the grand a year in school and I wish I knew this instead of what I learned in school. And of course, at the end of session two, we go over all the variables that you guys were asking about so we can clear up any miscommunication and misconception. I've been doing Q and A's at the end of all these sessions. It's been very helpful. Dr. Lin says, double the effectiveness of your treatments. And Dr. Kim's, if you want to be the go-to doctor, not just the shoulder guy in your neighborhood, this class will teach and show you how. Now, session three, day one afternoon, we go over EAN dental protocols. Now, if you know me before, I love dental. Why dental is my by far personal favorite of seven root causes and how I use this to maximize my potential. I wanted to put $14,000 value because once I show you how to nail dental problems, you're be the go-to practitioner because people that have been, I'm sure you guys have patients like this, they've been everywhere, they've spent all their money, they have bizarre diseases, neuro diseases, nobody can help them. Dentists very rarely look outside the mouth and medical doctors very rarely look inside the mouth. This is why for acupuncturists, this is why dental is the top in my book of the seven root causes that will just quadruple more, you know, magnify your practice. You can help so many more patients. And when you leave this weekend, my goal is that you're a master of all these spinal protocols for dental. Now, session four, we go over the emotions. And if you're a Ursley style practitioner, then I, some of you are spending two to three, maybe even four hours on a treatment. I'm gonna show you how to take care of these emotions in 20 minutes, 900. 
$1,997 value. And Dr. Harbison says, my outcomes are much more successful. I'm going to show you EAN stomach protocols. But in the first, in the morning of day two, session five, I'm going to do a crash course of sessions one through four. And that's because students, previous students have told me how extremely important it is to go over all the information from day one so that they can understand and grok and, you know, be exposed to this info and use it. We're going to go over the stomach, which is caused, many of you know, of more than 100 different diseases. How cool would it be walking away from this weekend knowing you can handle any disease, in particular, any disease with the stomach is more than 100. This is from anemias to mental illnesses because the stomach is supposed to absorb, uh, you know, break up proteins into amino acids, which are the precursors for our neurotransmitters. We need serotonin to be happy. We need endorphin to be pain-free, and the list goes on and on. Of course, learn all the basic stomach stuff, auxiliary treatments to go with EAN protocols in the Q&A. Session six, we do thyroid and adrenal protocols. Um, I already started showing you the thyroid and how important it is. And, you know, besides dental, thyroid is second on my list as being able to have acupuncturists move to the forefront of medicine and help patients that are undiagnosed. Endocrinologists miss so many cases of hypothyroid. It's unbelievable. And this puts the responsibility into the electroacupuncture medical practitioner's hands. We go over how to treat everything with auxiliary treatments, how to treat the adrenals. And I'm sure you know, we live in a catastrophe style living and I also showed you how the wisdom teeth are so commonly turned to cavitations and it's linked to the adrenal glands. You were away being a master at thyroid and adrenals and being able to tackle any problem in the upcoming week after you leave my class. Now, Vicki says, if you like gadgets, if you like science, then this is for you. My results are faster, more enduring, more predictable, and less labor intensive. Andrew says, fantastic course. Session seven, day two afternoon, we go over EAN scars, allergies, toxins, and protocols. I'm going to show you a special type of bracket that it only takes eight to 12 minutes and can regulate the vascular or blood flow going to a certain area. So you can prepare an area for fast healing. It can reduce blood flow or it can increase blood flow depending upon what's needed. I teach you how to treat silent nociceptive signals and I don't have time on this webinar to explain what those are, um, and auxiliary treatments. Here's the kicker, allergies and toxins. Did you know patients can experience major illness from a piece of food they ate five days ago? Identifying this type of condition, I show you how, will empower you to nail their diagnosis and reverse their condition with ease when no one else can. Session eight. This one session is enough powerful information. This is my bread and butter that you, what, you could take what you learn this one session and you know tenfold, 20-fold your investment in my class in the upcoming week. That's literally how powerful my pain and inflammation protocols are. I've seen it before. I've seen MD acupuncturists have a five-week waiting list with zero advertising, and they're using some of these pain and inflammation protocols that I'm teaching you in session eight. Amy says this course is chock full of clear cut clinical pearls. It's straightforward, practical, and efficient. Tanya says best course she's been to in 14 years. You also get the Electric Medicine 2 course manual. This is the exact slides we're gonna be going over in class on the live stream, it's a $250 value. Students love to either print this out in advance and take notes or take notes on their iPad so that you don't have to remember everything. The next day in clinic, you can flip through and remind yourself. You get access to the video recordings from the live class. We're gonna have this recorded and professionally edited. This is lifetime access to all eight modules. Watch at your convenience. These video recordings will sell for 1500 sometimes afterwards. Now. It's very helpful for students to go back and watch again. 
That's the feedback I've gotten from my students. This is a $997 value. Here's what it includes. Session one, $1,497 value. Spinal electro $997 value. Dental, $1,497. Emotions, $1,997 value. EAN stomach, $1,497 value. Thyroid adrenals, $1,997 value. Scars, allergies, and toxins, $1,497 value. And EAN pain and inflammation, $1,997 value. The course manual and the video recordings add it all up. It comes to $14,223. I want to know, would it be worth $14,223 if all this did is maximize your clinical outcomes while cutting your treatments in half? Would it be worth it if all this did was increase your repeat patients by 25%? And would it be worth it if all this did was double the patients you saw on a daily basis? To me, it's a no-brainer. So you're not going to pay $14,220. You're not going to pay $6,000. And you're not going to pay $3,000. The price of Electric Medicine 2 live stream event, which is on October 17th and 18th, is $1,900. And $97. Limited time promotion for people attending this webinar and LASA to a payment plan of two times 87, or you can save almost 200 bucks and make one payment of $1,497. Here's the link to go to electro acupunturemedicinecom slash EML2 if you're interested in my class. And I urge you to be fast because of the following. Grab your copy now because there are some special bonuses for fast action takers. Fast action bonus number one, for the first 10 buyers only from this webinar, um, giving you post day one virtual mastermind Q&A session, $397 value. What's this? Well, on the first day of class, I will be setting off light bulbs inside you and you're gonna have burning questions and some of you are motivated and you already know you wanna take my class. So I bonus the first 10 people, the serious people, with getting on after the class a private meeting with a small group of people to get your burning questions answered. Fast action bonus number two for the next 60 minutes after this webinar ends, the ultimate guide to EAM devices and equipment, $197 value. This is my video course that I was telling you about that goes through five of the most popular electroacupuncture devices. I go through each of them. I go through voltage. I go through waveforms, continuous, all these different variables. I get so many questions about this, and this is the best way that I can answer. After this course, you will be an expert in which device you want, how many devices you need, what waveform you want, all that, and so on. I also give my special trick in this video to increase patient comfort 300% when using faster frequencies on an ETO. Those are my fast action bonuses. I got more bonuses, but if this is you, go to my website and sign up, take advantage of these bonuses. So I was thinking, how can I help attendees maximize success in as little time as possible with the smallest learning curve? Bonus number three, you get my EAN treatment map, which is a quick guide to selecting treatment needle locations for pain and inflammation. Picture a chart, you quickly select where the patient's pain is, and from there, you know instantly what kind of bracket is optimal. Bonus number four, EAN rapid record form. What's the use of having fast treatments if your patient records take up all your time? This is a document where you can come and in under 60 seconds, jot down effectively what your EAN protocol was. And bonus number five, EAN frequency and power spectrum cheat sheet. You're not going to need this. It's so simple. But I get this question a million times, so I figured I'd create a document to answer this question. My favorite frequencies and power variables for my EAN treatments. And it's given to you to easily consult. $97 value. Bonus number six, my headaches and migraines video course. After watching this video course, you become an expert at treating headaches and migraines. I go over almost every single type of headaches and migraines with protocols from each. It's selling right now for $75 right on my website. If these bonuses interest you, if my class interests you, go there, get yourself the bonuses. Links at the bottom. Bonus number seven, pre and post event Zoom live sessions. <clears throat> these have been very valuable. I jump on a Zoom session and I basically tell you how to show up to class, 
or how to show up to the live stream best prepared, what to expect so that you are prepared when you reach the class. Bonus number eight, Private Electric Medicine 2 Facebook group. Imagine a group of Electric Medicine 2 live stream attendees and imagine you're in your clinic and you have a question about a patient and you come out in the hallway and you jot your question into this Facebook group. If I'm in front of my computer, I'm going to answer your question. If I'm not, there's be a couple hundred people who took my class and if they remember, they're going to answer you. Now, here's the previous value, 14223 We add in all the bonuses. It comes to $15,677. You, you can get it for one payment of $1,497. Go to this website now, if this interests you, to sign up. And uh, I'm almost done, but we're going to do a, Q, a quick Q&A after this if you have any questions about the live event. So I'm not done yet. I've been thinking for this special offer. I know that you guys, you know, some of you do want to dive deeper with me. So I was able to get you the bonus. Of if you buy from this webinar, I'm giving away my EAM advanced course online, immediate access to 12 modules for life. Maybe not immediate. It takes me like 24 hours to add these to your account. But this includes the course manual, and this is selling right now for $1,700. And I'm giving it to you for free as a bonus for my upcoming live stream course. If this interests you, if this is you, you know who you are, go to this link below. If you want to take your practice to the next level with track you, these protocols that I'm teaching in EM2 live stream is the easiest way for you to do it and maximize your patient results. I feel so confident. I don't want you guys to wait until the live stream event. I want to give you my EAM advanced course. You implement it, what you learned in this course in your clinic and make back 10 times what you invested in yourself from my live class in the first week after watching these videos. And then come on, give me feedback. Let me know about it because I get off on stuff. You add in all the bonuses. The new price is $17,377. The pre You can get it for one payment of $1,497. Dr. Rick Bernard, who just wrote on electroacupuncture, says he was blown away. A door was opened into the future of what acupuncture should look like. Dr. Pulsifer, a big electroacupuncture teacher at PCOM, says, my favorite course in 20 years. And my friend, Dr. Page, says, patients understand it. Other medical professionals are open to it. Everyone gets it. Now let's do a final Q&A if anybody has questions on my live event all right, can you hear me okay? Yes. For some reason, my camera is not turning back on, but that's okay. Um, so I do see that somebody would like to know about the CEUs and if they are California approved. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. California never responds to me. However, my last class, I applied for CEUs from Cali and they were approved. And I also applied for CEUs for this upcoming class. So while there's no guarantee um, there's a great chance that there will be CEUs for California and nationally. Perfect. And then, Rhett, do you know how many? Um, yeah, so I applied for 14. Okay, perfect. And then next question is, is that somebody actually has a seminar going on that weekend. Do you have plans for any other seminars in the future? So we will always be doing live seminars in the future and recording them. However, there's no guarantee that this particular topic, EAN, will be offered again in the future because um, we're, we like to record them professionally and edit them. And they, this class that I'm teaching on October 17th, 18th will be recorded, edited, sold probably next year as a video course. And next year, I'm already, um, it will be, I don't know what classes I'm going to teach yet. Um, but I will say that if you noticed one of the bonuses from this webinar, buying from this webinar, is that you get all the video recordings. So the reason why I'm saying this is because we have people from Australia that cannot attend live when I'm doing it live. And they get in because they know they want to master the EAN protocols and they want to implement. They get in on this bonus and they just watch the recorded videos afterwards um, to learn all the info if, you, if they have class or they can't make the actual live stream class. 
Okay, so that's actually the next question from multiple people is if they can't attend, they can watch the recording afterwards and it won't, they won't have to wait a year, correct? Oh, absolutely. So you, if you take advantage of these bonuses where you go to this link on the page and buy, you get access to the Vimeo live stream raw video footage immediately after the class is done. So even Saturday night and Sunday night. Um, but then it takes us a little while to get that footage edited and into your account as a professional course. But the answer is yes, you get to watch it immediately after the course is complete. You get to watch the raw footage if it's what you want to do. Perfect. All right. Well, I think that might be it for questions. I do see that Sharon just wanted to share that she just signed up and she's extremely excited to take her practice to the next level. So I hope that many others do the same. Yeah, awesome, um, Sharon. I'm excited to work with you. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Dr. Steiner, for your extremely informative webinar. We will share the recording. Actually, it's already going to be shared in your email. We'll also share it on our blog in the next couple of days. Um, I'd like to let anyone who's still here know that on October 13th, which is Tuesday of next week, we will be hosting Dr. Cameron Bishop for a free webinar called Pragmatic Applications of Japanese Moxa. You can find that registration as well as some more future webinars on our blog, which is blog.lasaoms.com. Um, Dr. Steiner, do you have anything you'd like to say to the group before we go? I just want to say um, thank you, everybody, for coming to my webinar class. And you know, it's my intention to give you real value that you can use in your clinic. So I urge you, please take action. Start use the what I taught you in this webinar tonight in your clinics tomorrow. And if you want to dive deeper, go to my link, which is still up on the page there. And I look forward to working with you all. And that's everything. Thank you again, everybody. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Steiner. Thank you to our entire group of people who stayed with us this whole time. Hope you have a wonderful night and we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great